Hey y'all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be discussing how to use Obsidian syncing at work without breaking the rules. So I've recently been exploring Obsidian as an alternative to Notion for my notes. One of the big reasons was that it would allow me to use it for both personal and work notes, something that I couldn't do with Notion unless my workplace had an explicit license or approval. None of them did. Usually they're using like Confluence or like, you know, Google Drive, something that comes with their, you know, enterprise plan or something like that. Um, and so while I, I thought Notion was good in a lot of respects, I could never actually use it for the thing it was good at collaboration. And let's be honest, the like default Google Drive note taking stuff kind of sucks. So here I want to share my setup for using Obsidian with syncing that aligns with most work rules. Work rules. So let's first look at common rules for software at workplaces and how Obsidian stacks up against them. So the first is like, don't use software that you don't have a license to, because you know, that's how you get sued and you know, have all sorts of issues. Obsidian is 100% free for personal and commercial use. So you don't actually need a license to use it. You don't use software that doesn't have approval. Obsidian may not be on your company's pre-approved software list, but it's basically just a glorified text editor like VS Code. So we'll typically get approved if you're careful about the syncing options, which we'll talk about in a sec. There's also the issue of plugins adding arbitrary behavior on the device with similar issues as VS Code plugins, but approvals will follow a similar flow. Usually for software engineers, you don't have to worry so much about like, oh, can I download this thing or not? They really just care about, um, is it bad? Is it malicious? Um, is it gonna leak data? Um, but I know that a lot of people uh, have things on their system that doesn't allow any software installation um, without being on a pre-approved list. So for those cases, you will definitely need to um, talk with AT before you can actually install this thing. And the third one, and really the main one we'll be focusing on in this post is don't sync data outside of work approved systems. This is the big one as any notes you take may incidentally contain trade secrets. So if your work doesn't have an Obsidian license or has not approved its sync engine, then you can't use the built-in sync. Caveat that every company has its own rules around software and data storage transfer, so you should really read those to make sure it applies to your situation. And when in doubt, ask your IT department. They're the ones that are gonna have the final say on if you can use this or not. Obsidian Sync. So Obsidian has a built-in sync option if you pay for a subscription. This works well and is a great way to get notes synced across different computers and mobile devices. I personally use this for my personal notes and it works great. Not the fastest sync in the world, so I wouldn't probably use it for like real-time collaboration, like like a Google Doc or a Notion page, but it only takes a few seconds to sync from one device to another, so rarely gets in my way, and it requires zero configuration, which is different from other syncing options with Obsidian, as we'll talk about later. So as we discussed, this option is not allowed at workplaces that have not approved Obsidian's note syncing. Moreover, you need a subscription, so it won't be paid for without a commercial license. And in my experience, very few companies have explicitly approved Obsidian syncing and have a commercial license for it, so it's basically banned by default. But remember, Obsidian is basically just a text editor on Markdown files for better and worse. So we can implement syncing on our files without breaking any of our IT rules. So now let's talk about work compliance syncing. In most cases, local files on your work approved device is okay. It's a bit muddier if there's a bring your own device policy as they typically require all work data to stay inside of work tools or only be accessed via VM or something. So be sure to read the policies on that. But if local is okay, then you can back up your folders using whatever file storage system that your work licenses. Most of the big players have an ability to back up local files and folders to the cloud, effectively building your own file sync engine. So common examples of this are like Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Apple iCloud, Box, Dropbox, there's plenty of others. Um, and they usually will have an app and you can point it at a folder on your system and it will just sync whatever's in that folder. And what we're really trying to achieve here with sync is that you can access it from different computers. If your computer is lost or stolen or breaks, the data is corrupted, you can re-access that stuff so your work isn't blocked. Um, and so by using these tools, you get the ability to sync to a pre-approved system. It never leaves the work enterprise licenses or tools or whatever, but you still get to use Obsidian and get all the power of a local first note-taking app um, as well. So here's what it looks like, and it's kind of my Obsidian setup at work. So we use Google Drive, um, and so I basically have a, a work vault um, that will sync up to Google Drive using its app. I don't really need to sync it to any other computer, so I don't really need to worry about that, um, but it's just there kind of as a backup. And then I do sync my personal notes in as well to the computer. And the reason I do that is this is where my daily to do's are. Um, this is where a lot of my personal notes around like um, software engineering best practices and things and templates, systems like that are. So I like to be able to reference that and then copy those in um, to my work folders if I need it in my notes or something like that. But they're all very separate. And so I don't have any risk of like leaking any sensitive data or anything like that. 
So I found Obsidian Simplicity, it's all just marked down, really refreshing. It's fast, simple, and allows me to take notes with the same tool in my personal life and at work, which is something that I've always kind of wanted and looked for. The closest thing I ever had was probably Microsoft's like OneDrive Notes app, which I always thought was like pretty decent, but it didn't quite work the same across Mac and, and Windows. Um, and I'm, I don't believe it had a Linux driver. And so, you know, I use all of them. And unfortunately that just didn't work so well. Um, um, Notion works really well because it's all just a website. But again, if your work doesn't license it, then you absolutely cannot use it because that syncs directly to their database, which totally breaks all the rules. Um, and then so you end up having to use whatever it is, which is Confluence, which honestly isn't that bad in my opinion, or Google Docs, which is just a bit clunky in my opinion and, and not something that I really love to use. So that's why I sync. Hopefully it helps you sync as well. If you like this post, you might also like why I'm moving my personal notes from Notion to Obsidian as a software engineer. You might also be interested in how I run my project backlogs with Trello. And finally, my simple daily to-do list as a software engineer, maximizing productivity and minimizing waste. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.